2023, welcome back to Dragon Fruit Paradise. Our new structure, our bamboo and concrete filled structure failed. This one cracked and destroyed the plant. So this is our super sweet pink and I had to start from scratch. So I was able to thank God keep the rooted base and all I had to do was wait for the growth. But we ended up having a piece of rebar it stuck out of the ground on the bottom here and went about that high. So I was able to take this 4x4 hollow post, put it over there and fill it with concrete. Before I got to the top, I took rebar, sent it through there in a crosshair pattern. And then I was able to fill it up with concrete at the top. So now this rebar is encased in this PVC. Our square is built. So it can allow it to branch out. And what I'll normally do instead of gluing all the PVC, I haven't done it yet, but I'll buy some stainless self-tapping screws and drill it through here so I can keep the pipe and the fitting intact. And that way I can take it apart if I have to use it somewhere else. If something goes wrong, it is you're not wasting all that money on buying on PVC. You can just reuse it. We're starting to get some flowers. Thank God. Been waiting. So this is our prickly yellow. The plant's not doing that well, but it's still producing flowers, so I'll take it. We also have our blood reds. They're starting to flower. You can see a couple here. And you can see a flower back there. Doing pretty well. Not a lot. We also have our Lisa, which we love so much. The Lisa is beautiful. The flower is uh, huge, fire engine red color to the skin, and these little curlies that come off of it. It's just an amazing fruit and a flower. This is our cotton candy breed. We only got one flower out of that whole tree, this whole row. I'm waiting to flower here. But we'll go see Lisa. Like I said, Lisa has the best pollen produces a massive amount of pollen the flowers are always big uh, the fruit is just amazing so this is the start of our season I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> we've been waiting a long time to see these guys so thank god they started showing up but you can tell I redone this uh, lighthouse tower it is now hosting Lisa and Purple Haze. But Lisa, ironically, even as young as it is, started posting up flowers as well. There's one on the base, and I'll let it be because we want every fruit possible. And there's a couple here and there, and in this, you know, one down here. You can see more showing up. So thank God. Doing pretty well. I hope you guys are doing well. It's in your gardens. Um, this is a Santa. We're waiting a Santa 3. We're waiting for more flowers to show up on it. It's still very young. Most of the plant is draped down the other side of the pedestal. So because of that, I just moved it around so that this side would get more shade, the other side would get more sun. And these arms that are posting up hopefully bend the other direction. This is our full grown Asunta. Got a couple new arms. I've been minimizing the arms, clipping them off. So that way, if they grow on the end, I let them be. Like this. They get nice, good, fat arms. Strong. Support a lot of flowers. I usually only let three flowers bloom on one arm. And you can see... I've been practicing minimizing arms to try to get larger arms to our plants. Larger arms, larger fruit, larger flowers, right? So this is a cotton candy. And I've minimized its arms for quite some time. I finally let these mature arms grow over. And you can see the new arms that are here now. So hopefully this will end up going straight just from the weight of it. A couple new arms here and there, but for the most Part, I've cut a lot of arms off of this plant so it could produce a very thick arm like this one 
the thicker the arm, the better the flower, the bigger the fruit. And this stick just, I let it grow out of control and we get a lot of flowers on it, but the fruits are definitely a lot, of, lot smaller. So I'm gonna be doing a video here soon because this structure I've had, this is hosting a enormous cotton candy that is now voodoo sent through it. Uh, it's starting to grow. They're getting flowers on voodoo. This is a voodoo branch that's made its way to the top. You can see there's a flower there, another one coming over the top. But you can also see my structure is breaking. So this structure is about four years old. Um, I'm gonna end up doing a PVC structure through it and trying to save the plant and cut away the bamboo as I go. So once I start that, I'll have a new video for you guys. We also had a disturbance in the force. We had a royal palm leaf come down on top of my my structure here. Sad. Broke a lot of the arms inside there. But again, it's flowering. You know, they could take a punch, that's for sure. All right, guys. I hope you're all enjoying your gardens. Hope everybody's having a good time. Until I got something to say, as always, Dragon Fruit Paradise, out.